What is up, peeps? This is for the win TCG. I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video, and today we have some more PTCG online gameplay for you today. And we are going to be playing Sceptile Naganado. This is a very interesting list. Um, is it the best list in the world? Probably not. <laughs> is it fun? Hell yeah. Let's get into this. Uh, this is a pretty decent list when it comes to its concept, and the concept is very simple. The concept is as uh, simple as Naganado. Accelerate energy from your discard pile to it and that will amplify Sceptile's damage. It's just that plain and simple So we need a good amount of uh, Naganados. We need a good amount of Sceptiles We need to be as consistent as we can um, You can play this as a shrine list and its own variant. I'm playing this as its own uh, list with a bit more consistency uh, running the likes of Professor Elm Lecture and Tapu Lele and we actually have a Verizian GX tech in this deck uh, Which is not too hard to get going and it hits some uh, some good damage by just playing a supporter. So, uh, oh, well, we'll push that aside <laughs> uh, and get into another game here. Uh, you can probably tell the setup of uh, my face cam and everything like that is a bit different. Uh, yes, it's darker um, because I have the lights off now. Um, I'm actually going to be using the, uh, the torch on my phone. I've mentioned that a few times before. Hey, five packs for free. Can't complain. <laughs> um, but with that said, uh, I actually managed to route my phone to my PC um and actually use it as my pc's webcam now to you it's like well what's the difference right uh, the big difference is is i can now record everything in one go where i can record the webcam and you know the logo and the the, the shadow effect and the, the gameplay all on one uh, scene on obs uh, and a great thing about that is i don't have to put it into um sony vegas my editing software and you know render the video i can just record and upload considering i do live gameplay anyway um there's rarely a point where i need to cut the video and if i do then of course i'll have to go and go down that route but if there's really a point where i actually have to cut the video or adding post editing right so by cutting out the middleman there and not requiring post editing um i'm actually saving a lot of time because it takes about an hour and a half to render a, a video that i make i usually make around on average a 20 minute video and that takes about an hour and a half to render with the added effects that i include and uh, the, the my, my phone records a very, very high memory rate, like a 20 minute video is like, I think it's like 2.3 gig or 3 gig of memory used up in that footage for just 20 minutes. So um, it records, yeah, it takes a lot of data. So it takes a lot of time to uh, comp compress that into one video file, uh, which takes a lot of time. So uh, we cut out that bit of man. And the great thing is about that is I can just record, upload, makes it a lot quicker and it takes a lot of, a lot less of uh, energy to, um, edit the video and stuff like that or, or time and the great thing about that is it just gives me more energy to put into my videos um which just results in better content in general so um i'm really happy so far with that outcome and what i'm actually going to do here is get rid of these two um because i want to play my hand down a little bit so i can around guru into some stuff because we are currently dead drawing which is a bit unfortunate but what i can do is i can attach the tarpu lele i can rescue stretch the uh, Sceptile back into deck if my game doesn't crash because it's been doing it recently. Please don't do it. Please. Please. I beg you. I beg you. No. Don't. 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 Don't do this. Don't. I got so scared. I got so scared. <laughs> you saw in yesterday's video that happened and it was just irritating. I'm actually going to go for the Guzma because I want to thin my hand down even more. And I know I can't play a draw supporter now, but I just want to thin as much as I can. Plus, I want to use Trico's find a friend attack just to get some other Pokemon into play. Now, this is going to be super risky, but I kind of want to Ultra Ball another Trico because this might go down. Uh, well, is it going to go down? Probably not. But we need to set up, and that's the priority. So what I'll do is I'll actually get... Wow, only one more Trico. Bugger. Uh, I might get a, a, a Boiple. A Boiple because we can start getting energy back into play. Um, and if we ever ever needs need to we can you know attack with naganado right to find a friend uh, we could go for grovile i actually would prefer grovile because i can evolve into grovile and use grovile to get another trico out rather than getting two trico it's risky but the odds of this being knocked out are very rare so yeah i'm, I'm kind of happy with that play right yeah so uh new setup there um and it's going to change again in the future the reason being is because i'm going to be getting some better lighting uh, I've actually got something on the wish list <laughs> on Amazon, uh, which is like a ring light with a tripod. And what I can do is I can put that above my monitor and it allows me to hook up my uh, phone 
to that tripod. So what I can do is I can record with far better lighting, which is great. So the camera position will change again in the short future. Uh, but for now, this is my plan to record everything in just one go until I get uh, a webcam or until I get something um, that is high enough quality to record um, like a DSLR camera uh, directly through to the computer through USB rather than uh, using a webcam app. But with that said, that's a very odd addition. <laughs> Uh, I guess they had to drop down the DCE, right? Because they had this attached initially, so they had to drop down the DCE. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Um, I think the audio is synced up well. It was out of sync initially, but uh, I've done some testing on it and I've delayed the audio, I believe, by like 200 milliseconds. So everything should be in sync now, hopefully. Um, it'd be a bit awkward if the video is like out of sync, but I'm sure... If that's the case, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I can fix that in the next in the next video. Um, so you may have to just bear with there. Uh, I, I kind of want to get another poi pull out, you know. Um, as much as I want another Trico, yeah. I'm going to get another poi pull because I can... Oh, wait, they, 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 um, they judged. They judged. Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. Do I attach now or do I Cynthia and, and attach? Maybe potentially get into Brazilian GX. Uh, now we're attached now. Um, this Pokemon's going to have energy on it regardless. So if we simply into some Naganadals. Okay, I think the smart thing to do here is to ultra pull away these energy, which is not the best, but we want energy discard pile anyway, and get a Grovile, um, and then use Grovile to get another Trico. I think that's the way we have to go about this. Um, prizing two Trico is scary. <laughs> but... Uh, I think we can just about get there. So it is a bit of a clunky start, unfortunately. Starting with a Tapu Lele is quite iffy um, because usually you'd be looking to Tapu Lele and then go for... Hmm. We played two Rescue Stretcher. I want a Mysterious Treasure and get an Aganado and get an Energy out here just to... Yeah, we're going to risk it for a Biscuit and we're going to go and grab a Naganado GX. I think we have two Sceptile left. And we have another rescue stretch. So, yeah, I think I'm comfortable getting rid of that for now. Getting an Aganadal, uh, evolving this, and then just using that to get an energy out. I think that's the way we're going to just do this. So, yeah, stacking up the energy, and I think we're in an okay spot. Um, this Grovile's probably not getting knocked out. Their board state seems extremely weak. And their uh, hand just seems, again, just abysmal. Um, but luckily, we've got the Sightseer for next turn, so we can... Uh, Maybe a Ranguru for one if what we top deck is not playable then the, um, immediately, sorry. Um, oh, Lily. Ha! Damn. Brand new hand of six. That's great for them. Is this a spread deck? It looks like a spread deck. If it's a spread deck, where's the shrine, boy? Okay, what's this? I actually don't know what Mimikyu does. Um, your opponent's now confused. This was 30 damage time. Each damage counter on your opponent's. Oh, okay. Is it active? So, hmm. That's kind of that's kind of cool, actually. I like, I like their concept, their plan. Right, we are going to Ranguru for one here because we drawed another Sightseer, which is unideal. Unideal, not ideal, is the word I'm looking for. Right, so we got a, a rare candy, which is nice. We're just going to click done. Um, I want to keep that Sightseer for next turn. Oh, this is absolutely splendid. No, don't be an idiot, Sean. <laughs> you have a rare candy in your hand. I was just about to do it. <laughs> now, you could play Ditto Prism Star on this list, and I actually kind of like that idea. So I don't know why I'm not, because you can Elm for a, you know, two Grovile and a... Uh, ditto prism and evolved in Aganadal, right? So maybe that was my misplay. Uh, right, we can actually Sunshine Grace for another Sceptile and evolve the active, um, which is nice. Get another energy into play with the, the current Naganadal and just uh, go from there. I was considering playing EXP share in this list, but with the likes of Naganadal bringing energy back into play, it doesn't seem to be too necessary, especially considering you can do it once per turn. It's not really a, a necessity, right? 100 damage, oof. Um, Definitely lacking there, unfortunately. Would have thought we would have hit 120, but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, so we're just not hitting 120 right now. This is a deck that is a bit of a warm-up. It takes a while to actually start having a huge impact, uh, which is why it might be better off to play as a Shrine deck because in the early game, you want to do some poke damage, essentially, and then in the late game, you should have enough energy in play to start one-shotting things. So with that said... Um, Maybe Shrine is a good way to go, but yeah, I kind of have to sit there and go Tapu Lele or Shrine. And and the, the thing I love about Tapu Lele is the consistency it brings is just insane, you know. 
Um, you could play the likes of Zeb Striker, which I've tried playing before, but usually you're getting rid of resources a bit too much. Zeb Striker is just too... It's just too much. <laughs> uh, I don't mind discarding these Grovals because we don't have any set tiles, and I think... Yeah, we don't have any Tricos left, and I would, I'd like to rescue Stretcher those Grovals and a Sceptile if we start getting our Tricos from our prize. So that's what I'm going to do. Not like an Adol, great news there. Uh, oh, Potown, I didn't even realize. I forgot that card existed. God, they are just spreading like mad. Um, now, they can't actually play Shrine, which is why they're probably going for the Potown, which is intelligent. Because they can't play Shrine if they're using Mimikyu GX as their primary attacker, which looks to be the case. Uh, I can commit the choice bands and go for an Oranguru. I will do that just for the extra pull. Don't. Don't do it. No. Please. Please. Don't do it. Come on. Come on, Pokemon. <sighs> oh my god. Every game, I'm just getting more and more anxiety. <laughs> uh, right, so I think we're doing, what, 140 now? Um, is it 140? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yes, yeah, so 140 damage. Uh, Ultra Ball's kind of pointless, I guess. So we'll just go for that 140 damage. There we go. So as long as these Naganadals stay alive, we're going to be hitting some good numbers. Uh, and that's great. And this Sceptile is probably going down this turn, uh, which gives us another opportunity to attack with another Sceptile. Thinking about it, I would like to have the opportunity to just, you know, attach to the Verizian, get a Verizian out and attach to it, but doesn't seem to be the case hmm i mean what i could do is use Virizion's gx attack is it the same as a roller i think where you put all the cards in your hand or because i don't want a Virizion gx on a naganado and put a bunch of <laughs> grass energy on me um but i might Virizion gx just to save the tarpu lele wow they're just going to commit to this to the spread and that's kind of intelligent because Soon, we are going to be absolutely screwed. Um, we are going to be screwed over. So we'll just attach an energy there. We can't bench the Verizium, so we're just in a bad spot. Right, Powerful Storm here for 160, which is nice. We'll go down that road. I will be uploading an updated list of Sceptile Venusaur. Uh, Venusaur has now been unbanned on PTCGO. So I will be doing a Sceptile Venusaur list that incorporates, obviously, Grovile which just makes the deck run so much better. Being able to get your Venusaurs out so quickly, um, it just makes the deck run insane. So I will definitely be doing an updated list on the Sceptile Venusaur deck because that one is a force to be reckoned with uh, 100%, 100%, because Grovile just gets everything out so quick. By uh, turn three, you will almost guaranteed have Venusaur and Sceptile without even requiring Rare Candy. So... Um, I would definitely have a list there uh, to come out, which would be fun. Right, so now they're going to start doing some big damage and just cleaning up here. But we are, uh, I believe we're one-shotting this Mimikyu now because we're hitting 190. Um, considering that we can just... Oh, that is interesting. I'd love to get another Trico, but no, we don't have any. Haha, <laughs> fun. Um, right, let's actually discard the Rare Candy and the Lecture. And we'll fail the Ultra Ball. Um, I really want a, an Energy. Um... So I can attach it to Verizion. Uh, but that just doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, this is a good time to just get a, an evolution line out. Um, like that. Yeah, just so we can maybe set up that if things don't go too well. Now this has more damage on it, but I want to even out the energy um, spread. Yeah, just in case, you know, if one gets knocked out and it has more energy than the other, then you're losing more damage as a result, right? All right, so there it goes, and we do go down to two prizes, which means we do miss the opportunity of using um, Naganado, uh, which is a shame. So what's this jigsaw? Put any number of Pokemon in play and all cards attached to them into your hands. So we could just negate their damage indefinitely um, by just using this GX attack. So this GX attack is actually going to be kind of clutch. So if they take out this Venusaur... I am just going to GX everything, which is just insane. I know it's dumb, but it removes everything they've built up for, <laughs> right? Just removes the whole concept of their deck. Uh, I don't think I have any way of getting energy into the discard power now. I've used all my Ultra Ball. I mean, I have one Mysterious Treasure left, but damn. <laughs> so I don't even know if I have any energy left. I'm going to promote the Lele um, because I'd rather, you know, keep that in the active and retreat. 
to see what's uh, just to see what's going on. So Trico, you can go down, and we're going to Cynthia. If we hit an energy, that'd be busted. Um, we can just save all of our cards. Oh, we hit energy. Oh, we got Life Forest. Now that changes things. Actually, that changes a lot because we will get hit by something with our Verizion, and then uh, just go from there. So we're actually going to Verizion GX. The odds of us getting knocked out are. None. <laughs> We're just not going to get knocked out next turn. There's nothing they can do in, in my head that can just whip down and knock out this Verizion. So I think we're just going to go for our GX attack, which is sane. So we're going to pick up um, all damaged Pokemon. So we're going to pick up our Naganados. We're going to pick up our Lele. Oh, this is just... That's disgusting. <laughs> we have so many energy on our hand, it's pointless. Um, now, yes, this could be considered a very, 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 very bad play. Um, and obviously, you shouldn't really go down that road. But considering the deck that we're playing against, that's perfect. Because they're all, only doing 10 damage. Did I choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon? And they shuffle that into their deck. That's fine. Your opponent's uh, active Pokemon is now confused. So I guess they can confuse me. That's true. They can do that. Um, but as, so long as we get... So there's 200 in the discard pile now. So long as we... Yeah, we can, we can use Mysterious Treasure just to get another energy in the discard pile. And we can get our Naganadles back up and running um, and just restart the game, the, the game a little bit, essentially. Um, so that's the first time I ever thought Verizion's GX attack would be useful. I've not really seen it as a useful GX attack, to be honest, because it just leaves it in the open. Uh, right, so yeah, they're going to go conf Confusion because they're like, well, what can I do? Uh, so we're actually going to go here. We're going to do that. I mean, we're going to go on the coin flip and just bank it. Um, and hopefully, I think we get the knockout here, right? So it's 50 plus 80, 130. One, oh, we just miss it. Um, now, using Life Forest is... Oh, my God! Life Forest can remove special conditions. <laughs> when you accidentally do the, the right thing. <laughs> uh, I bet there's a few of you just sitting there going, um, Sean. <laughs> right, we're actually going to fail that. Um, actually, no, I shouldn't have because I could have benched all my poiples. <laughs> Look at that. That's just insane. Um, maybe that was a bit overkill because now I've, I'm sitting there going, a ranking route or Lele? Which one? I don't know. We're going to play the supporter. Uh, actually, no, yeah, we're, we're benching a Ranguru. Yeah, we're benching a Ranguru just, just to be safe. Um, we'll go for a supporter, which means we can hit for some good damage this turn. Unfortunately, we don't get the knockout, which is just a shame. But sometimes that's just the way it is. So bye-bye Confusion. Sensitive Blade for 160 um, is pretty nice. And uh, they're in a tough spot now. They're just in a very, very tough spot because... Even if they retreat, we can just Guzmo games. So Verizion coming in absolutely clutch in this game. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> I never really um, thought about that. But hey, the flexibility of the deck is starting to show, which is nice. So they're going to Guzmo something up and probably go for a trap. Yep, yeah, and uh, that would be game for us, which is great news. So uh, great game to my opponent. That is a pretty interesting strategy. I had, un unfortunately for them, the biggest counter for their deck that they could ever come up against. <laughs> um, and, oh my god, that's just that's just funny. <laughs> I did not expect to be using Vision's GX attack, and I didn't expect Vision to be like, right, yeah, I'll clean up for you. Don't worry. So I'm kind of happy I tech that in. Um, so yeah, I mean, as I said, you can go down this list and try it out. Um, Life Forest even came in clutch towards the end as well. Or you can go for Shrine. It's it's really up to you. Shrine, I guess, would have got the knockout on this, but then we wouldn't be playing for Rizion, so I guess that doesn't really make a difference, right? Uh, yeah, so we're just going to show what this deck can do here by just resetting up, which is nice. We can just Naganada, yada, 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 just keep it going, keep it going. We, do you know what? We're not going to mess around with our opponent here. We've we got the Guzma. Let's just let's just do it. And that just makes Sensitive Blade oh, even better. So there we go. That is Sceptile and Naganada. A really, really fun list. Uh, consistent? I don't know. I think it needs a bit more work to... Con uh, to say it's very consistent but nonetheless um fun can do high damage can poke damage can um completely pick every card up if it wants to i guess <laughs> for isn't it yes. uh, but nonetheless do let me know your thoughts of this list down below would you try it out for yourself do you think it can go anywhere um also do leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more videos and of course i'll see you tomorrow peace